hockey. Geraldine Heaney was a fixture on Canada's national team for 13 years. During that span, she won Olympic gold in 2002 and gold at seven consecutive Women's World Championships between 1990 and 2001. Twice she was named the tournament's top defenseman, and she retired as the highest scoring blue liner in Women's World Championship history. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the 2013 Hockey Hall of Fame team, Geraldine Keene. Geraldine Heaney, ladies and gentlemen, Hockey Hall of Fame. Wow. Jane, as you grew up in hockey, women's hockey gradually grew with you. And you were a big part of that. Because young girls looked up at you and went, wow, I can do that. I can accomplish that. In much the same way you looked at guys like Chris Chelios and Scott Dienemark and other defensemen. What did that mean to you now to be somebody who's really paved the way for young girls to fall? Well, it's hard to believe. It's an unbelievable feeling, and I'm just so glad that the Hockey Hall of Fame is continuing to, to induct women. I'm following two of the greatest female hockey players, with Angel Jane and Kenny Granato, who got inducted three years ago. And I'd just like to say uh, hi to all my uh, Ancaster girls, Avalanche girls hockey team. Because, because they're, they're the future, and this is what they have to look forward to. Your kids never got a chance to see you play at your best. What does it mean to you to share a day like today with your children? Um, it's, a, it's an unbelievable feeling. I'm very fortunate that I'm actually coaching my uh, daughter as well. So uh, she gets to see me uh, in a different, uh, I guess, level at coaching and uh, she gets to see me play today. Congratulations, Geraldine. His round of hockey won championships at all levels and leagues. Fred Shiro was a true coaching pioneer. He won the IHL's Turner Cup in 1960, the AHL's Calder Cup in 1970, the CHL's Adams Cup in 1971, and the NHL's Stanley Cup in both 1974 and 75 with the Philadelphia Flyers. He retired from the NHL with an incredible 6-12 winning percentage, ranking him third all-time for coaches with more than 500 games experience. Sadly, Fred Sherrill passed away in 1990. In his honor, please welcome his son, Ray Sherrill, to receive his honor after Blazer and Watch. Ray, what a great honor for you to be here today to share this ceremony for your dad. There's nothing like the relationship of pride between a father and son, and in this country specifically when it comes to hockey. What does it mean to you to be here knowing that your dad's accomplishments have been appreciated so highly that he's now a Hockey Hall of Fame? Uh, it's been a great weekend so far, and it really for me validates the, some of the teams that we did coach, whether it's the minor leagues, of course, or the Philadelphia Flyers. And, uh, it's a great thing. My father passed away in 1990, my mom passed away in 2010, but that my family here and my kids were here to see the grand game that the street gym and my high school be. It's a great thing, so it's a great weekend. Congratulations again and enjoy the celebration.